And as talks between Zambia and international lenders kicked off last week, it was revealed that Zambia's outstanding external debt to Chinese financiers is approximately $6.6 .6 billion, almost double the $3.4 billion revealed by the previous Zambian government. The revelations, detailed in a research paper by the China Africa Research Institute, reinforce concerns over a lack of transparency and complicate debt restructuring talks for the 17 Chinese lenders involved. Well, Matt Kindiger, Associate Practice Lead at Sub-Saharan Africa at Frontier View, uh, will weigh into this. Hey, Matt, good to see you. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for having me on the program today. So Zambia's uh, new president hosted the IMF last week. How will these um, developments affect the prospects of Zambia reaching a deal with the IMF? Uh, yeah, so quite a significant development, or, although not entirely surprising. So in our view, it probably won't materially affect the chances of Zambia reaching a deal with the IMF. Uh, and this is because uh, the IMF probably... Uh, guessed that there was a high level of debt owed to Chinese or higher level of Chinese loans than previously uh, announced by the government. Uh, generally, uh, the Zambian government and the IMF are both very keen to do a deal uh, and form some sort of arrangement, uh, but it does suggest that the renegotiation of Zambia's debt uh, to its private lenders, so restructuring of, it, of its external debt, of its external debt uh, could take longer, could involve uh, much more difficult negotiations, uh, and this is because private bondholders uh, on which Zambia defaulted last year uh, are likely to view Zambia as being much higher risk. So certainly, although uh, we don't think it will delay an IMF deal, there is likelihood, or there is a strong likelihood that it could delay Zambia exiting the vault over the next couple of months. Okay, with global copper prices at multi-year high, will the government be able to um, avoid painful fiscal adjustment? Yeah, so that's the that's the big question at the moment. So public finances are certainly under severe pressure. And when uh, Mr. Hichilema was elected in August, he made it clear that some degree of painful fiscal adjustment was on the way. Uh, at the same time, as you've said, copper prices are very high. Uh, they're, they are at multi-year highs. And this means that we are seeing an up upswing in, in investment and the growth outlook for Zambia has improved quite considerably over the last couple of months. However, the increase in copper prices will not be enough to compensate for the very uh, difficult fiscal position that the government is in. Uh, HLM's new government has said that uh, fiscal, the fiscal position is worse than previously expected. So in any event, we are expecting quite aggressive fiscal consolidation, you know, with or without an IMF deal as well. Uh, and so we, we do expect taxes to rise and there are likely to be spending cuts over the next couple of months. Now, given the country's fiscal pressures, just as you mentioned, how have businesses responded to President Hitchelman's first couple of months in office? Yeah, so I would say generally the scorecard has been quite good for Mr. Hitchelema, uh, despite the, the fiscal pressures that the, government, that, that the country is facing. Uh, sentiment is quite upbeat, and this is illustrated by the series of very sharp appreciations that the Quacha went through after Mr. Hitchelema came to power. Portfolio investors are, are quite enthusiastic about his ability to reach a deal with the IMF. And as we've already discussed, uh, copper prices are quite high. So generally, despite the physical pressures, uh, despite the problems that the government is facing uh, with its finances, the private sector is generally quite upbeat. We are expecting uh, Mr. Hitchelema to work quite hard to attract investment particularly into uh, mining, but also manufacturing and agriculture. So certainly uh, there are some pos positive prospects and uh, an upbeat outlook for Zambia uh, as it deals with its fiscal pressures that it's facing. Hmm. Well, Matt, we do appreciate your time on the program as always. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks very much.